If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the upgraded version of Konate's Evo card. So I think these are the main two center backs that I'm going to review. It's going to be the Vardiol card as well as Konate because they obviously give you some really good links to work with. The rest is going to be if people did specific cards like Matip, all those types of guys, right? But... With Konate, for now, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot four, medium high work rates, three star skills, two star weak foot, lengthy player while being a right footed player. Uh, play styles. This card has block as well as the bruiser play styles. He's got aerial to work with. He's got long ball and pinked pass in game attributes. Uh, this card is working with a lower acceleration over the sprint speed, right? So obviously you can improve the acceleration as much as possible as well as the sprint speed, but just know that the initial acceleration of the card could be a little bit of a letdown in certain situations. Uh, shooting, non-existent, passing on the cards in a good area. That's kind of like the whole point of these Evo cards in particular. Uh, dribbling stats, it's in an okay area. His agility and balance is not necessarily in the greatest spot, but doesn't really matter. He's six foot four, has a specific body type that actually performs pretty well in game for defensive animations. Um, the Shadow Chemistry style will be boosting his defensive stats to be in a very good area as well. And then for physical, key thing here with center backs or with defenders in general is having the right base card stats for physical while being able to give a Shadow Chemistry style. With Lorente before, on the rare gold card, like as a fullback, it was annoying to give him a Shadow Chemistry style, but then he would get outbodied in so many situations. But once that Evo version came out and you can give him the, the physical boost with the anchor chemistry style especially, it was a very massive deal. And I've tried players like Ether Millie Tao and stuff too. And Ether Millie Tao, like I wouldn't give a shadow to, like I would give him an anchor. Um, but with Konate, we will be trying him out in the center back position. Uh, shout out to Division 10 or Div 10 on Twitter for the tactics on the 4132 because this is genuinely my favorite tactic. And it might be my tactic I use for the whole year, to be honest, because he's an absolute G for uh, making it with the four or five other dudes that he did it with. But with Konate, we'll have him in the center back position. We'll see how he plays there. Hopefully he is a beast. So that was me trying to use the uh, the shoulder barge. Didn't really work out there. <laughs> not really his fault there. It's not the right uh, selection. I think Konate is the one that blocked that. I think so. Nice, he magnetized to that too. Nice and composed, boys. That's what I like to see. We're good. Nice and composed. Marks the area well. Legrand switch. I will never forgive EA for adding that as a mechanic in the game. Your extra emphasis when a goalie is pushing you is so stupid. Take that out of the game. Good challenge with the weak foot. Good block. Really good block. Wow, what a game we play, boys. Oh, I 
Beautiful. Nice. I pressed the uh, the pass button there so you can actually go for some sort of reach. He did well. Did well enough there. We're good. Nice. I used the shoulder bar just to put the body ahead there. Worked out. I think I'm going to like Konate more, man. I, I just feel like I, for me, because of the body type and stuff and the animations that he has, like the rare gold card already kind of did that before. Oh, that actually would have been a good through pass, but you know, Virgil doing the Virgil things. Nice. See, it's the animation choices he has. I like them, man. Yeah, see, like he doesn't have the initial pace, but when he takes over with the sprint speed and stuff on the lengthy, that's where it's really nice. He's really big, too, man. That body type is kind of crazy to work with. Yo, honestly, man, shout out to Div10 for the for the tactics, bro, because it makes me actually like enjoy doing reviews because of the authentic buildups I have. Even though I'm doing a center back review and I'm not putting any of the goals, obviously, it's just nice. Nice. That was just holding out trigger too, eh? I feel like he's going to make that pass first time. Hey, okay, puts enough pressure there. I'll take it. I'm just going to add that in there because this is what I'm talking about with the formation. It's the only formation where I can consistently do this all the time and still have good defense and stuff. Is that an Arsenal past and present team? Oh, that's cool, actually. I just noticed that. That's actually nice. I like that. So the reason why I don't get that initial one is because I did do a shoulder barge in a bad area, right? That's why he just kind of went through the guy. The second one he gets because I actually did that one correctly. Pass out. Ah, the deflection. I defended that so well too, man. There we go. See, you always know that they're going to do that, but sometimes the switching in this game is horrendous and you literally can't switch because they always do that same pattern of play, right? So. Look at that animation. Yeah, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I like him more than Vardial. Like, they're two different play styles because then, you know, with Konate, like I wouldn't use him in a three back in the side position like I would with Vardio over in that left center back position. Like I said, they're two different types of play styles, I think. 
Um, but if we're talking about like four center backs, I would rather just go with Konate, to be honest with you. Because his his body type, his defensive animations, they're just really good, you know? See, they always do that same play. It's just a matter of whether or not you could switch to them at, at the same time. I know exactly which play is going for. Everyone always does the same exact things. It's just the switching, though. Good reach. Oof, very fast there. Oh, I did that slide challenge myself. Wara defending from me. Nice. Yeah, I, I like if it's a four back, I'd rather go with Konate, guys. I gotta be honest, man. He's just... He's just better for that four back, I think. Oh man. Tried to do a shoulder barge and he passed it out. Nice. That's why I did the second man press to block that run area. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Evo Konate card. Guys, in my opinion, right, when it comes to both of the cards for Vardial and Konate, it's going to depend on how you see yourself using them. Because here's my opinion, okay? With Vardial, I mentioned in that review that if I'm using that card in the left center back position for a three back formation, he suits that play style a lot, right? I would not say the same thing with Konate in regards to using him in the right center back position in a three back formation. He would have to specifically be used down the middle, right? So if I'm playing a three back, he would have to be the middle guy in those center back positions. So that's a variable to work with when it comes to the difference between the two players. Now, in my opinion, when it comes down to a four back formation, right? For me personally, I prefer to use the Konate card over the Vardio card. The reason being for this, right, and this was to be seen with his rare gold card, and I mentioned this in the evil video when we were talking about both of the cards, that rare gold Konate was a fantastic option to go with in the beginning of the year because he had really good defensive animations with the pace that he was working with and all that kind of stuff. And the evil rated version feels like a better version of that card, like a good better version you know what i'm saying not like a oh like a minimum upgrade no like he feels like the better option in that area because here's the thing in this game physical capabilities is a really big deal do you guys see that one attacking play like even if you know what's going to happen the switching in this game is horrendous but you know that one attacking play that people just cut back cut back and then make that one pass and they want to go for that shot across goal when you have a card like konate who has the physical capabilities who has the bruiser to push into people with his six foot four height, with his body type, it's really, really helpful to work with. Now, don't get me wrong, you notice the acceleration, but the sprint speed compensates really well for it as well, right? And here's the key thing is working with that body type, working with that height, with the physical stats that he has, it's just a very, very solid center back card. Like, don't get me wrong, he's not Van Dyke. You know, Van Dyke is a different breed, but he's still very good. Like if I were to go with the evolution choices between all of the players, I would personally go with Konate because if this card keeps getting improved in the future and you can put him into another Evo, it would be really nice, especially if EA decides to give him more play styles to work with. But for me, I'm really liking the bruiser, the aerial, and the block on the card. I feel like he performs really well in that. For me, he's the best choice for that four back formation and then Vardial for that three back if I'm playing him in the side area because the high, high work rates, um, the way that the card moves across the pitch, he feels better there. But Konate defensively, he just has those defensive animations that I personally like the most. So, um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out my dudes. Love you guys.